how well you guys played down the stretch there in the first half, but seeing how it spiraled out of control there in the second half. What are you going to look back on, the positives or the negatives in this one? Uh, I think a little bit of both. Uh, I feel like the negatives, that'll help us get better, but as well as the positives. Uh, this, this is a, a first conference game for a lot of us, so we've got a lot of room to grow. Uh, what was it like for you to play in an arena like this that was mostly sold out? There were some Coug fans here, a lot of energy in the building. Uh, I mean, it was a dream come true. Uh, a lot of energy, like I said. I just wanted to be confident and just play my game. You had a good second half, and you really seemed to elevate and progress as the game went on. What were you seeing out there, and what helped you really elevate your performance? Um, just I felt like my coaches put their trust in me. I was just, just trying to trust my teammates and uh, be sure of my decisions and just take what the defense gave me. There's a friendly competition, it seems like, for minutes there at the point guard position. I mean, are you almost feeding off of that right now, trying to really cement yourself and with that grip on the position? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that, but really I'm just trying to get better. I'm not worried about uh, who starts or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep getting better every game. When you guys went up 46 to 45, I think it was you who hit that go-ahead three. I mean, why do you think it was that UW was able to rattle off nine straight points so quickly and really take the lead again that fast? Um, just a little breakdowns, little mental things. Like I said, this was the, the first conference game for a lot of us, so we're all still really new, just trying to get a feel of everything. Uh, we just got a lot of room to grow. I think we, we'll get there. Going off of that, just playing, like you said, playing in your first Pac-12 game, Like, what are your big takeaways? What did you learn the most through this experience? Uh, I just learned that every night is a big night. Uh, you got to bring your game, you got to bring your toughness, you got to bring your confidence, and don't take any days off. What did Coach Kent say to you post-game in the locker room, if you can share a little bit? Um, a lot of the same things I said, just to keep battling, keep getting better. Uh, you got to limit the, the mental errors, and we'll, we'll be there. Do you th By and large, would you say that you know there was some learning that was done out there on the court tonight, just seeing how well you played you up for large stretches? That's a good team over there. Do you think you really grew as a team in this performance? Definitely. I think uh, experience is one of the things that helps uh, players grow. You, you'll never know what it's like unless you're out there just thrown to the fire. you got to adapt to your environment. 0-7 oh, away from BC now. Is that getting frustrating for you guys at all, just seeing that you haven't been able to snap that streak yet? I mean, a loss is always frustrating, no matter if it's home or away, but we definitely got to figure out a way to get some wins on the road. What do you have to do now between tonight and then heading up to Utah and Colorado just to right the ship a little bit here? Uh, just learn from this and move on. Can't soak on it. I mean, it's, it's one game. We just got to keep getting better.